Hey, what's the situation? Hmm? Oh, it's a cursed spirit. I should have known that already. Jeez, you look kind of messed up, dude. Was it that cursed spirit right there? Yeah, I thought so. Let me guess, you've been fighting for this demon for quite a few minutes, huh? And look at you, you're all scraped up. You want some help? Of course you don't. After all, you're also a demon as well. I can sense that. And from your physical appearance, you're not quite human. So, I would say back off for a little bit. Let me handle this real quick. Alright. Listen here, demon thing. I only deal with, like, spiritual demons and whatnot nowadays. But, since you look so... Ugh. I'll exercise you myself. Oh, come on. Don't charge at me with such cockiness. It's not gonna get you anywhere. <laughs> See? I told you. That attack did nothing on me. After all, you are quite weak. <laughs> All right, calm down. Don't worry. I got rid of it. It'll disappear in a few minutes. So, what's your name? Nice to meet you. I'm Gojo. I'm a jiu-jitsu sorcerer. One of the most powerful ones at that. And, well, since you're not human, I guess you got turned into a demon? By force, obviously. I can tell from your uh, posture and whatnot that you don't really like to be this. So, where are you headed? Since you're already in mid-Japan, I'm pretty sure. But my calculations... Uh, go to the left, a little bit to the right. You're going to northern Japan, aren't you? I would assume so. Let me guess. You want to talk to a few people in Safe Haven. Well, since it's the only place with human life on it now, on the planet, I mean, it's the easiest place to get into communication with some of them. Most of the pro heroes, sorcerers, all that type of jazz. They're over there, protecting the humans. Well, bigger names like me and several others, we're here protecting the lands as much as we can. Yep. It's not a paying job, but it pays off in the end. If that makes any sense to you. You look very, uh, formal. You come out of southern Japan? Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. So let me guess. Muzan? Eh? Huh? Come on. You don't have to hide these things from me. I'm a sorcerer. We have to know these things. So who was it? Was it a third grade demon? Was it Muzan? Well, come on, you can tell me. Oh, it was a third moon. Huh. I didn't know third moons can do that. We learn something new every day. <laughs> Well, listen, you don't look like you're causing any type of trouble, so I'll let you off the hook for right now. But, if anything happens in Safe Haven, just know, I'll be the one to kill you and exercise that demon inside of you. 
Got that? <laughs> Great. You want a souvenir? I just came back from Tokyo. <laughs> no? Jeez. You know, for a person that was just human... Well, not just human. You catch my drift. For a person who was human, you don't really show your emotions now, do you? For being a demon. Some spirits and demons are very aggravated when I talk to them. Because, well, they know who I am. And they know they're going to die. But you just don't talk, do you? Oh, let me guess. This ancient warrior is going out for revenge. And for the death of their sibling. Am I right? <laughs> oh. That's exactly what you're doing. Well, I mean, good luck to you, I guess. What, are you trying to find the people who did this to you? Oh, you killed them already. Were they a demon? Makes sense. Wait, so you killed a third moon demon by yourself after turning into a demon? That's kind of sick. You know, my students would like to take a good look at you, but you're obviously on a hurry, and you're awfully on a busy schedule. So, here's what I'm going to do for you. Since I am a jujitsu sorcerer, I could take you to safe haven. Yeah, why not? Something to do. And plus, I haven't traveled there in a hot minute anyway. So what do you say? You care to have me as your travel buddy? Come on, I'll bring snacks. <laughs> Great. Oh, I can't wait to see Mexico. I hear there's really good food there. And I don't think there's any, like, cursed spirits or monsters there, since pro heroes and whatnot are there as well. I know I said that already, but I get to see some of my friends I have seen in the past. Don't mind me, I just got a soda. Like I said, just came back from Tokyo. Why don't you and I go up to northern Japan, get a plane ticket, and fly over to Safe Haven? Mm hmm. And a matter of fact, I know plane tickets go for a hefty price nowadays, so I'll pay for the trip. Because obviously, I don't think you have money since you're now a demon. And I still have some leftover money somewhere. Hmm. All right. Well, let me make a few phone calls to tell my students and whatnot that I'm going to safe haven for a few days. And then we can get going. All right? Okay, cool. <laughs> you know, for a demon of that caliber, I could sense his energy. And it's... Huge. He has, he has a, lot a lot of power, power behind him. him. Maybe that vengeful story is what he's driving for. He's, he's also trying to change something. I could sense that in his brain. Now, I'm not sure what he's trying to change, but... I guess I'm going along to ride for him. Alright. Well, I think I got a few of them phone calls done. Well, not phone calls. I just texted them since, you know, you're busy and whatnot. <laughs> so let's get going, shall we?